the clear, the better their hopeless cries I might hear. With a sudden twist, they looped backwards, then dove, deep within the structure of my weapon, then nimbly wove their way through the guts of my fully functional battle station. Sudden forbidding gripped me and left my twisted face ashen. Vader! I rasped, then remembered he'd left. His ill-timed vacation had left me bereft. My crimson-robed guards, they stood there all silent, and I remembered too late that they weren't all that violent. Everything up till now had transpired by my design. The upcoming battle would be far from benign, but Wookie Claw's presence I had not foretold. My vengeance on Kashyyyk would be returned tenfold. In anger I yelled for my guards to leave us, grew briefly nostalgic for Hanukkah Grievous. His coughing was tiresome, his aim poor in fights, but his antics at least were confined to a mere eight crazy nights. Almost instantly I heard some explosions and blasts, but near my room, not via broadcasts. I pulled in my cloak and was spinning around when through the vent duct Wookie Claws dropped with a bound. He was covered in fur from his ears to his foot, and his holiday clothes were all tarnished with blast marks and soot. A bowcaster he'd bound securely to his back, and he looked like a toydarian as he opened his pack. With a thundering roar, he began to speak, but my Wookiee language skills, well, they were quite weak. So I pulled out my lightsaber and stood attentively. He spoke and purred while I watched semi-blankly. Then he handed me something. I flinched back in fear, when what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a gift, a box, a package of goods. I opened it up and was transported right back to my childhood. Instead of the thermal detonator I had guessed I'd receive, it was a statue of my Death Star, just in time for my tree. I held it in wonder, my eyes, they were sparkling, my plans of galactic domination. I began parking. Perhaps I would wait and first speak with Vader's son, instead of quickly executing him down in my dungeon. I had planned on a death, quick and neat and efficient, but the glow of the ornament... It was indeed brilliant. Thank you, Wookie Claws, for the clarity you bring. This decision to kill Skywalker had left me aching. His Force abilities, were they properly applied, would fulfill his destiny as he took his father's place by my side. He spoke no more words, but went straight to his work. He charged up my space chair, then turned with a jerk, and laying his first...